hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I wanted to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of the video this video is going to be about who's keeping tabs on you and why Who's keeping tabs on you and why? Okay, we're going to be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for the card selections. So who's keeping tabs on you and why? Who's keeping tabs on you and why? Who's keeping tabs on you and why? We have judgment for pile number one. Pile number two, we have the king of cups in reverse. And pile number three, we have the page of wands so pile number one judgment pile number two king of cups in reverse and pile number three we have the page of wands okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to You'll be able to find your timestamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number one, you picked the judgment card and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started, my pile number one. Who's keeping tabs on you and why? Who's keeping tabs on you? I'm getting with the judgment here. Maybe this person um, judged you harshly, okay? Or you made a judgment on this person. There was some sort of interaction with this person that went um, south, okay? It didn't go too well. I feel like it's like a kind of like a no contact situation with this person. I'm not getting that it's a lover. It could be, but I'm getting like it's a no contact, okay? Who's keeping tabs on you? We have the Three of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of a heartbreak with this person. Who's keeping tabs on you? We have the Magician. This person could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Or a Libra with Justice here. Who's keeping tabs on you? We have the Two of Pentacles in Reverse. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So you put you left this person out in the cold or they left you out in the cold there was definitely some sort of a heartbreak that happened between you and this person and then there was some sort of manipulation with the magician being here okay and i'm also getting like with the two of pentacles in reverse um somebody dropped the ball maybe you guys were working together on some sort of project and this person bailed out on you last minute okay we have justice here, even though it's upright, I feel like something was unjust, was unfair. I'm just getting that vibe, even though it's upright. Yeah, we have the four of cups. Maybe this person feels like it's a missed opportunity with you. Something went wrong, something went south. Yeah, you see we have the four, we have the eight of cups. Yeah, five of wands, six of wands, the fool, yeah. Something went south with you and this person. You left them out in the cold or they did Somebody betrayed somebody here because uh, with the Three of Swords, there was some sort of rejection. 
yes we have the ten of cups this could be a family member because I'm getting like this is somebody that you worked with okay like or like you party with or you had some sort of fun with okay and this person betrayed you yeah we have the knight of cups in reverse so they were all talk no action okay also the knight of cups in reverse is a fake friend phony energy okay um yeah somebody who's phony yeah something that you guys were working on with the eight of wands because the eight of wands could represent like move fast movements forward but it could also represent a project something creative that you're doing together and i'm getting with the eight of wands something stopped or there was a like some sort of ending that was painful or some sort of betrayal as well because the three of swords is there like i said earlier and this person i'm getting like with the knight of cups in reverse this person was just all talk no action and they didn't follow through on what they promised okay like false promise with the knight of cups in reverse it's like false promise okay i heard future faker we have the seven of pentacles this is somebody that you invested a lot of time with okay a lot of energy resources on okay we have the queen of swords we have the ten of pentacles yeah this is something related to money family it could be like a cousin okay with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles it's like some sort of a business virtue that you guys worked on together money that money's definitely involved yeah we have the lovers and we have this person could definitely be a gemini because we have the magician and we have the lovers which is both gemini energy and the queen of swords is an air sign so gemini or libra yeah it's money ace of pentacles some sort of offer that you guys were working something that you guys were working on you see three of pentacles you guys were working together on some sort of project okay it's not a, like a lover i'm not getting a lover vibe even though the lovers is here it's some type of choice that you guys made and i feel like this person is a little bit upset about the the outcome of their choice because the ace of pentacles is here and the three of pentacles you guys were working together it could also be somebody at your job that's keeping tabs on you maybe you cut off this person at work maybe you just you distanced yourself from this person maybe you worked on a project with them and they betrayed you or threw you under the bus because maybe something went south on this project and they put all the blame on you or something and now you're not you're not rocking with them like that anymore but there's definitely some sort of betrayal here or like yeah you see i saw the seven swords there is definitely some sort of betrayal lie okay who's keeping tabs on my pile number one we have the six of wands this person could be popular or you could be popular here with the six of wands or you get a lot of recognition okay who's keeping tabs on my pile number one so you see we have the ten of cups you guys used to be happy you know there was like a lot of happiness in this connection but we have the four of cups again this person feels like they missed an opportunity to be in your presence or be your friend or be like yeah i'm getting sorry about that guys i'm getting friendship vibe this could also be your boss with the uh, king of pentacles okay and we have the hermit this person could be a virgo or you're the Virgo here, you ghost this person. You ghosted them. So who's keeping tabs on you? We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who, who speak before they think, okay? They're impulsive with the Knight of Swords. Who's keeping tabs on you? We have four swords yeah somebody that you put something to rest i'm really getting like you're no longer in contact with this person or you no longer deal with this person we have the chariot yeah you moved away from this person with the chariot yeah cancer energy you pulled your energy back from this person and they don't like it yeah you see three of swords at the bottom of the deck again this person is definitely heartbroken yes they're in panic with the nine of swords this person is worried they're they don't want to have this tower moment they don't want to admit that this connection is over because of them okay yeah six of cups and i see a friend i'm telling you this is a friend it could have been a best friend or okay or really close uh, 
like you consider this person like family because we have the ten of cups here twice so like i said it was either like a cousin or like even your sister or your brother like really something that you're you're really tight with like you told all your secrets to you guys did everything together all your like you know your your shenanigans and all that good jazz you guys are like you know used to have a lot of fun together and this person did something that was really foul and then yeah and then ever since then the connection was um it was like the demise of the connection after they did what they did we have the fool yeah this person feels foolish for what they did i feel like this person could be a little bit older than you okay i heard four years yeah because we have um yeah i think we have four 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 here no we have all yeah we have four 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 because we have four of cups twice um and then the four of swords so you are definitely protected but this person feels foolish yeah you see the seven of swords again they did something shady they broke your trust okay yeah they were juggling this connection with other things so let's see why are they keeping tabs on my pile number one what do we why whoa that's way too many cards but we have falseness because this person is fake yeah i'm getting seven of swords was there so definitely they're fake wow <laughs> the card came out again that's why they're keeping tabs on you falseness they're fake yeah okay why are they keeping tabs on you death okay because something ended okay why are they keeping tabs on you we have room i feel like this person is going through something financially wow didn't i say misfortune i'm like they're going through something financially and this card comes out they're going through some sort of misfortune right now maybe regarding their home something is putting coming to to an end and they're keeping tabs on you because your life is going well you see prison maybe this person may be going to prison why are they keeping tabs on my pile number one we have hope i'm getting this person hopes to reconcile with you but they're being fake the reason why they want to reconcile is because they're getting karma what do we have here we have lord okay this could be an aries because the lord for me is like um the emperor kind of the energy and i saw friend friend wanted to come out guys <laughs> spirit is like yes girl you're right i'm telling you it's a friend I sense that it was a friend not a worker not somebody that you work with but you guys probably worked on some sort of project okay like you told this person everything all your dreams all your goals and I feel like maybe this person tried to steal your idea like I, you see we have thoughts they try to steal something from you okay they betrayed you backstabbed you okay and now this person is like keeping tabs on you because like they're they're fake they want to come back something has ended for them okay yeah we reunion didn't i say they want to reconcile with you they want to reunite with you this is a friend okay this friend is going through some sort of misfortune and i feel like when they were with you they were getting good karma but ever since that they betrayed you backstabbed you and you moved away from this person they're getting bad karma you see fortune they want your fortune they're watching your fortune that's why they're keeping tabs on you they're watching your money they have their eyes on your money on your glow up i heard yeah this person is like uh prideful but autiness this person's very prideful they don't like to i'm getting this person may not like to ask for help okay like they like if they ask for help it would be indirectly they won't ask you for help they, uh, straight up okay so why are they keeping tabs on my pal number one we have teeth you see i'm telling you this person wants to steal from you didn't i say they stole from you they stole something from you an idea something maybe they stole money from you okay but that's why they're keeping tabs on you they want to steal from you they want to come back and steal why are they keeping tabs on my pal number one sorrow because this person's in sorrow this person's sad they maybe they're sad that they can't steal from you anymore because maybe that's what they were doing and now they're getting karma for stealing K 
okay or maybe they got caught because we saw prison yeah consolation this person wants to reunite with you but they want to reunite with you out of like um like this person that i feel like i'm getting bad mind vibe from them because if we have a thief maybe this person's trying to set you up to take your fortune okay because we have falseness this person is hoping to come back and be your friend again they want to reunite with you okay and this person is prideful they're cocky i'm getting like even this person is going through some more some misfortune they still act like they're the ish you know that their shit don't stink that's what i'm getting from this person yeah you see thoughts this person's all in their thoughts about this connection and another card flipped over yeah frivolity this person is um in uh, wishy-washy in and out okay they want to send you a message they definitely want to talk to you okay why are they keeping tabs on you yeah their journey this is like the fool for me the journey this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you they're hoping that you will accept their apology but we don't have the page of cups here it didn't even come out this person is false so if they do apologize to you it's not going to be sincere okay there's like a hidden agenda behind it they want to steal from you okay and they're sad yeah okay so that's all i have for you my pile number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pile number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number two you pick the king of cups in reverse so this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number two. If you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started. My pile number two. Who's keeping tabs on you and why? so i'm getting with the king of cups in reverse this person may have played a lot of mind games okay this person may have been like emotionally and unavailable to you okay cold distant okay and like i'm also get, getting this honesty from this person who's keeping tabs on you we have the ace of swords yeah this is the truth some sort of truth or clarity came about in this connection yeah we have the lovers in reverse who's keeping tabs on you we have the two of swords who's keeping tabs on you we have the king of pentacles maybe this person is greedy we have the knight of cups in reverse yeah, maybe this person like, with the Knight of Cups in reverse as well, this person was false, was shady, okay, a fake friend, a fake, like this person was uh, future faking, I'm getting as well. Yeah, this person is like gossiping about you with the Page of Swords, but there's some sort of truth that came out about this connection because the lovers could represent like a connection between two people, but in reverse, it means like it was one-sided, okay, or it was like a bad choice to um, deal with this person baby i'm getting also this person has been a stalemate to you with the two of swords i'm getting this person is very greedy i don't know why i'm getting like the king of pentacles in reverse type of energy from this even though it's upright i'm getting this person is like all about money money is like the main thing for them it's like what can you do for them how can you um like bring the money it's like nothing emotional because the king of cups is in reverse yeah and we have the four of cups four sorry four of pentacles upright and four of pentacles is a penny pincher somebody who's greedy somebody who is a hoarder as well i'm getting like hoarder vibe okay like they hoard everything they hoard information they hoard like everything is theirs you know they don't like to share anything okay yeah we have the queen of swords yeah this person i was getting like this person is cold we have the two of pentacles 
the two of pentacles is all about like you know managing your funds okay and also having multiple skills or like juggling a lot of responsibilities yeah this person was all about money this is definitely somebody you walked away from or they walked away from you they made a foolish decision with the fool here this person was impulsive okay who's keeping tabs on you yes we have the king uh no we have the emperor sorry we have the nine of wands yeah this person's wounded their ego is bruised because i feel like you walked away as well when they walked away from you you're like okay fine like you you want to bounce all right then i'm gonna leave too i'm gonna pull my energy back and this person was not expecting that now their ego is bruised with the nine of wands and they're worried with the eight of swords they're all in their mind they can't sleep at night okay because i feel like yeah it's a missed opportunity with you with the four of cups and we have the ten of swords they betrayed you they backstabbed you they did something foul they said something either they said something or did something but i feel like it's something that they did with the king of cups in reverse like they did not have like they didn't have they didn't have your best interest at heart when they did it and they did not care about your feelings they were cold towards you okay it was all about them i'm getting like a really selfish vibe because the four of cups is a selfish energy too i mean it's not the four of cups the four of pentacles yeah the four of cups is here this person feels like it's a missed opportunity this person likes a lot of attention with the king of wands this person doesn't have to be a fire sign, but I'm getting like this person loves attention. They love to have all eyes on them. They love to be the center. Okay. They probably put you in a competition with the five of wands. Maybe they were competing against you. Okay. I mean, I'm getting like maybe they were competing against you too. Yeah. We have the ace of pentacles. We have, yeah, you see the sun. This person likes attention. They like to be you know the center of the universe all eyes on them okay this person could be a leo because we have the sun or they could be a libra or an aries okay yeah we have aries twice with the fool and the emperor and it could be a gemini as well we have the ace of pentacles maybe this person like i said they're all about money they're financially stable but they're worried they're stressed out at night they can't really sleep because maybe they do things like, you know, they don't get their money in a respectable manner, okay? Then maybe they, 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 I heard dirty money, I don't know, because we have the Ten of Swords. They don't, or they, play, don't, they don't play fair, they play dirty. Who's keeping tabs on you? Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, for some of you, it could have been like your ex-husband or your ex-wife because we have the king and the queen of wands and we have the lovers in reverse, somebody that you part ways from, okay? And we have the moon here. This person could be a Pisces, but like I said, this person is selfish with the four of pentacles, okay? I'm getting with the queen of wands. This person thinks that you are very attractive. They are still attracted to you even though you guys are not together. This person still finds you attractive, still alluring it's just the fact that they cannot control you anymore or they don't have power over you this person feels burden yeah you see i told you this person still got like in their twisted mind they still got love for you but it's just like they have a controlling vibe to them it's like my way or the highway and if you don't do as i say like this is what i'm getting from this person I, if you don't do as i say things are you know they're gonna try to manipulate the situation with the king of cups in reverse okay play mind games guilt trip you you made a judgment on this person yeah we have the knight of cups up right now we have the knight of pentacles this person pays a lot of attention to details okay they're detail oriented they're calculated in your move okay they don't like to miss an opportunity if they i'm getting like this person could be an opportunist okay with the four of cups in reverse they could be an opportunist definitely a charmer okay because we have the, the knight of cups upright and it in reverse we have the star here yeah this person likes to be the center of attention they may even be popular with the star i'm getting that vibe from them yeah they're well known maybe in their community in your community this person is well known they're probably established as well because we have the emperor and we have the king of pentacles what do we have here 
yeah you see this person's manipulative magician is in reverse like i said this person is like if you don't do as i say like things are going to go bad for you okay and i feel like because you moved away you pulled your energy back and they can no longer control you with their words you can, i'm getting like manipulate you with their words or your emotions play on your emotions this person is angry they're upset because it's not working anymore their their trickery their foolery whatever they were doing to you is not working and now they're upset because they don't have control over you anymore and it makes them really i'm really getting like angry okay why are they keeping tabs on you we have pleasure seeker why are they keeping tabs on you we have friend this person wants to be your friend again or wants to be a friend again like wants to start out as friends like i'm getting this person wants to reckon or uh, reconcile with you but we have pleasure seeker this person is a pleasure seeker i feel like it brings them joy to have you under their control this person is a control freak i'm really getting that and we have lord this is like i'm really getting emperor vibe so this person could be an aries we have sigh yeah this person's not happy why are they keeping tabs on you we have auntiness yeah cocky why are they keeping tabs on you because they feel like they could get you back this is what they want to give you a gift they're trying to bribe you yeah this person wants to bribe you okay you see we have sorrow enemy this person's an enemy this person does not have your best interest at heart yeah this person is sad they're trying to bribe you with a gift with money because they're not happy with the fact that they can't control you anymore okay for them like i said their ego is bruised because we have the nine of wands and we have auntie this person's cocky like they feed off other people's energy they feed off the power that they have on others okay and now that they do not have the power over you anymore they're angry they're an enemy i did sense that this person was angry was mad they're watching you heavy like they're keeping tabs on you heavy if you think that this person's not keeping tabs on you they are okay why they're keeping tabs on my pal number we have lover yeah this i'm getting like this is like an ex-lover but it's upright yeah we have widower yeah because you guys broke up okay this person wants to be your lover again wants to be your friend again okay i just heard that usher song with ludicrous lovers and friends this person wants to be your lover and your friend but it's not true it's just a form of control this person with the servant here maybe this person wants to domesticate you tame you this is what i'm getting with the servant card they want to tame you tame your power okay maybe because right now you're stepping into your power and we have widower this person is sad okay they're they feel the loss of you with the widower okay what do we have here there's a card that didn't i say despair this person is desperate. This is why they're keeping tabs on you. They're desperate to control you. They want to put an ending to, like I'm getting your, the ending to your freedom. This is what this person wants. This is why they're keeping tabs on you. It's not like for something good here. Yeah, because this person's a thief. I heard a thief of joy. They want to take your joy away. This is somebody that like some sort of truth came out about them. And ever since then, like you figured out that this was not the right choice for you because the lovers in reverse. So that means it was not a right connection. It was not bringing you satisfaction, the joy that you wanted. And this person kept you in the dark or they're bringing a stalemate to you or they had you feeling like you were not good enough. Okay. And then when you took your power back, it made this person feel some type of way. And now they're keeping tabs on you to make sure that you're not moving on. This person's trying to keep you trapped they're trying to hold you back like i said they're trying to tame you domesticate you with the servant okay they want you to do as they say that's what i'm getting like do as i say this is how the vibe i'm getting from this person and if you don't you know that's that vibe like you know controlling dominant and not in a good way like an unhealthy way who why are they keeping tabs on my pal number two and whether male or female here this person is still dominant okay it doesn't matter their sex 
I'm really getting the, the energy that this person operates in. They like to control. They want to be. So, they want somebody to under their thumb where they could just, you know, play you like a puppet. You know, like a puppet master. master. Who's keeping tabs? Why are they keeping tabs? Okay, we have thoughts. But this person is like, you know, in reverse. It's kind of like the nine of swords energy for me when it's in reverse. This person is stressed out. Okay. Why are they keeping tabs on my pal number? Melancholy and we have service. This person, I'm telling you, with the melancholy, the thoughts in reverse and service, this person is just not happy they're going to try to do some act of service for you just try to play mind games with you i'm telling you, this person's all about mind games emotional manipulation emotional blackmail okay try to make you feel bad for leaving them try to make you feel some type of way that's how they work we have the magician in reverse they overdo it okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the page of wands. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started, my pal number three. Who's keeping tabs on you and why? Who's keeping tabs on you and why? Okay, so I'm getting with the page of wands. This person could be younger than you, a younger fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag. This person, I feel like they're very active, very energetic, passionate here. I feel like this person also has a crush on you. Who's keeping tabs on me? My pal number three. We have the Queen of Swords. So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Star. So I'm getting with the Queen of Cups in reverse. I'm not getting like emotional manipulation. I'm getting like emotional withdrawn. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely this person is calculative in their move. When they do something, I feel like they're holding back their emotions with the Queen of Cups. I'm really getting somebody who has a crush on you. But with the Queen of Cups, like they're withdrawn they're they're not they're acting like they don't care okay i feel like this is somebody that you actually know this is not like a stranger okay and i'm getting with the star here this person could be very popular they could be in the spotlight they could be an influencer online as well with the star don't have to be but i'm getting like a popular vibe this person knows a lot of people and they may know people that know you okay and this is how this person knows you i feel like it's indirect contact so like six degrees of separation Okay, and then we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like, you know, it could be burden, but it could also be having a lot of responsibilities. So maybe this person have like a lot of businesses that they run, okay? They have a lot of side hustles. They're doing this in secret, okay, with the High Priestess. But with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting this person wants to have a new, a, like a beginning with you. For some of you, it's a new beginning. Maybe it's somebody that you had like some sort of interaction with, but you guys parted ways because maybe you guys don't hang around the same circle, but you guys know mutual, you have mutual friends. Okay. Yeah, we have the Page of Cups. This person is like... Maybe this person wants to apologize to you. Maybe at one point in time when you guys used to speak this person did something that was maybe a little bit cold or yeah maybe manipulative at one point but this person is 
with the page of cups i'm getting like they want to apologize about something we have the hero font in reverse the hero font in reverse is somebody who does not follow the rules okay somebody who goes against the grain but it's also somebody who's unorthodox as well. And we have the five of cups. Yeah, this person regrets something here that they did. I feel like at one point in time, you and this person used to talk. It could be like an ex fling. Okay, somebody that you just had a fling with. Okay, not a one night stand. I'm really getting like just a fling. Like, you know, maybe you guys dated briefly and then you guys parted ways because of something or this person lost interest in you with the queen of cups in reverse and they just ghosted you out of nowhere without saying anything yeah we have the five of pentacles that came out so the five of pentacles is a card about like you know being leaving somebody out in the cold yeah you see we have the six of swords that's in reverse that's like somebody who doesn't want to move on doesn't want to close a chapter so maybe this person does not want to close a chapter with you they're not willing to close a chapter or they don't want to let you go not as of yet we have the nine of cups this person sees you as wish fulfillment okay yeah you see we have the sun here this is somebody that could be in the spotlight Okay, I'm not getting celebrity vibe. I'm, I'm more getting like somebody who's in the spotlight, somebody who is popular, okay? Somebody who has a large social media following as well. Or somebody who is well known, okay? In their community. Or this could also be you, okay? So this person could be a Leo. Yeah, there's something that they don't want to end with the, four, with the six of swords in reverse. There's a cycle that they don't want to end. And they don't want to move away. I feel like they left you out in the cold. I'm really getting like somebody that you were dating. That wants to reunite with you. Or they want to apologize to you. They're keeping tabs on you to see if you moved on already. Or you, you found someone else. Who's keeping tabs on you? We have, yeah, you see, this is somebody who had other options. Seven of Cups. And they decided to go with their other options or they, they decided to explore other options who's keeping tabs on you yeah they were juggling you like they were dating other people you see we have the four of wands maybe you met this person at a wedding or at a gathering okay some sort of a party celebration you met this person there i feel like you guys hit it off right away but because this person was flighty with the page of wands, they're flighty in and out, okay? And this person likes the adventure. They like the thrill of the chase. So this person could be an Aries. Or you could be the Aries here. Even though the Emperor is not here, but I'm getting that vibe. Okay. Yeah, you see the page of wands again. This person likes the thrill. Ooh, this person's obsessed with you with the devil here. Capricorn energy. Okay, yeah, they're they're attracted to you sexually as well with the devil energy. Yeah, they breadcrumbed you with the page of pentacles. Okay, they stringed you along. This is what I'm getting from this person, the person that's keeping tabs on you, they're stringing you along. And this person wants to see if you moved on already. And we have the sun here. This person could definitely be a Leo. Yeah, you see, there was other people. Three of Cups is here. They had other options. Maybe you met this person through a friend. Like I said, this could have been like a friend of a friend. Okay. Who's keeping tabs on you? We have the chariot. This person could be a cancer or have cancer in their chart. Or you could be the cancer here. This person, yeah, they moved away or they could be at a distance from you. Maybe this person wants to relocate in your area. We have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this person is financially stable that's why i feel like they they're they feel like they could do whatever they want because they have other options i'm really getting like yeah this person thinks because they have other options they could treat people however but they got another thing coming because you're not the one this is what i'm getting here yeah now they want to equally give to you with the six of pentacles they want to equally give to this connection after you walked away or they walked away with the eight of cups okay either they walked away from you or you walked away from them but i feel like it's more them that walked away from you and they did it silently 
without a word, without no explanation, just ghosted you. You probably start calling them and then either they blocked your number or they just stopped answering. Okay. Out of nowhere. While you thought it was going on, like you thought like this relationship was going somewhere. Yeah. You see the hermit, this person just goes up and goes to you. Okay. Yeah. They were being manipulative with the magician here. This person could be a Virgo or they could be a Gemini, but we have Virgo twice, so definitely could be a Virgo. Okay, who's keeping tabs on you? What do we have here? Yes, didn't I say this person is in and out flighty? The Knight of Wands, that's the player energy, okay? The in and out, the person that likes to have all the attention, okay? Somebody who likes to get all the girls, all the men, Hot girl summer, you know, that vibe. This person is attractive too, okay? I'm really getting like a very charming person, very attractive person. However, they like to play mind games. So they like to play games, but this person with the five of cups, they're in regret. Because there are other options were not as good as they thought. And now they want to do a U-turn and they don't know. Yeah, you see, this person wants to write to you. The letter. They may like DM you. I'm getting like DM or email you if you block them on Insta or you block them on all your your platforms. This person's gonna want to email you. We have sweetheart. Yeah, sweetheart is like the third party. Okay, when you have a third party, sweetheart that's what it represents. Okay, we have wife. Look, wife and sweetheart. That's two people, two different people. Okay. Maybe this person had like someone else on the side and they went back to this person. Okay. Why are they keeping tabs on my pal? My pal number three spirit. Why is this person keeping tabs on my pal number three? Okay. Surprise with fortune. I feel like this person is surprised that you're leveling up with the fortune and surprise. Maybe now you are in the star energy maybe you are you know getting the fame and fortune maybe you are the one that's you know leveling up in your business and this person seeing that and they're surprised and now they want to come back i'm really getting this person wants to come back because they see you now as wish fulfillment after they left you yeah you see we have love on top of wife now this person wants to be serious they want to take you serious i feel like at the beginning they were not taking you serious because they had other options okay we have friend and autiness. Yeah, they want to be your friend again. Okay? Like I said, this person's cocky because they're handsome. They're beautiful here. They have other options too, okay? Even if you do have options, so they, so they, so do they, okay? I can't speak. This person does not want me to speak. Okay, why are they keeping tabs on my pal? Number three, spirit. We have gift. Yeah, they want to give you something. But I feel like their gift is not like a bribery. It's really sincere. It's like a, a gift to apologize because we do have the page of cups. So this person actually wants to apologize to you. It's like genuine, the apology, okay? They really feel some type of way because we do have the five of cups. They regret it. It's not like they're just trying to do this to manipulate you. I feel like before when they ghosted you, it was all manipulation or all mind games to keep you in check i just heard so that way they could like come back whenever they want but they notice that you're moving on you're actually you know moving on with your life you know doing well for yourself by yourself without them in your life so it's like they feel some type of way about that okay because i feel like their options that they chose were not like they're not doing nothing with their life right now not like you and now this person wants to come back and apologize and make amends with you why are they keeping tabs yeah, we have priest and we have frivolity. Priest is like the hair font. Okay? So the hair font represents marriage, represents, you know, partnership, contract, legalities. And this we have wife here. So this person definitely wants to make it official with you. I'm really getting it's not an ex. I'm not getting an ex vibe. It's some somebody that you were dating okay and you were gonna take it to the next level where you guys make it like official or make it serious and this person just upped and left frivolity yeah this person's uh frickled here 
Why are they keeping tabs on my pal? Number three. We have room. Okay, this person wants to maybe they want to sleep with you as well maybe they're very like sexually attracted to you yeah and this person's like you know with the knight of wands yeah they're very their sexual energy is potent as well i'm getting but this person wants to be intimate with you why are they keeping tabs on yeah they've been keeping tabs on you constancy why are they keeping tabs on my pal number sorry about that guys so why are they keeping tabs on you? Why are they keeping tabs on you? We have soldier. This is like protection. So they're watching you like a hawk. Maybe they want to protect you. Why are they keeping tabs on my pal? Number three. Why are they keeping? They don't want to talk. We have misfortune. This person is going through some sort of misfortune. Yeah, maybe that's why they want to come back. Because we have the five of cups. The five of cups also is a card of misfortune. They're getting, they're taking a loss. They're taking an L from who they went and picked over you. Okay. And they want to come back. I'm really getting this person wants to come back and recon uh, reconcile with you one more card why are they keeping tabs on my pal number yeah we have young woman they're taking a loss from a young woman whoever they left you for whether a man or a woman here this person is taking from them okay and there's also a young woman keeping tabs on you maybe one of their options is keeping tabs on you okay and maybe this person wants to cause you some sort of misfortune here and this is the reason why they're keeping tabs on you. I feel like this person's trying to protect you from like their other options that may be bad mind or want to do something. Okay. But I'm getting like, yeah, they're watching you, keeping tabs on you to make sure everything is okay with you. Like, I feel like this person actually cares for you too. Okay. It's not like just, you know, because of like their ego, I'm really like getting, they care for you and they want to make sure that everything is okay with you, but they're going through, through some sort of misfortune. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.